welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet and I have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet. On my channel you will find a variety of things to help you on your weight loss journey so please consider hitting that red subscribe button. We would love to have you join the family and for all of my returning subscribers thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Good morning. It is 9.30 in the morning and today is the day that I get my ultrasound done. So like I had mentioned in a few of my videos, if you have been watching along, um, I have been having some major, I would consider them major symptoms and could be premenopausal. They're definitely one of concern. So um, what I experienced during, I think it was during the month of October, I want to say, is I was having um, that, that time of the month, my cycle uh, for, it was over 40 days. It was absolutely crazy. It was every single day and it was a normal period. Like it was heavy. It didn't lighten up. It just was consistent for a very, very long time. So I finally decided to go to my doctor and he put me through a few tests, which to check my thyroid, my iron level, and they did need to check a pregnancy test just in case it was a miscarriage. So that all came back negative and everything was good. My iron was good. Absolutely everything was good. So that was great news considering um, I had been on my cycle for so long to not have low iron and I was experiencing a lot of other symptoms such as like weight gain, weight loss struggles and weight gain and it's been continually for about a year now and recently I've been having some hair loss. So there's just different symptoms that I've been experiencing and the one thing that I haven't experienced is any moodiness. And when I get, when I went to get my hair cut, Jimmy also got his hair cut as well too and our friend Tina is our hairdresser. So we were talking about it and she has experienced that as well and had to get a micro abrasion, I believe it's what it's called. And I was telling her all of my symptoms that I've been experiencing and she had said to Jimmy, is she, is she moody? And you know, you, if you've met Jimmy, Jimmy is 100% honest. And Jimmy was like, no, she's not moody. Honest to God, she is not moody. So that is one side effect or symptom that I have not been experiencing is moodiness. But I have been ex experiencing a lot of other symptoms. So I'm really hoping, I know today I probably won't get any answers. It's just literally an ultrasound. And the one thing that I worry about right now, there, there's Ivy, I can see her. She's sneaking over to that window. So uh, the one thing that I am worried about after this appointment is that I probably will need to be for, referred to a gynecologist and it is a, a long wait to get referred to a gynecologist. So I'm really concerned about that. I'm really not worried about like any cancerous fibroids or anything like that. It, cancer does not run in my family on either sides. Um, so I'm really not concerned about that. but. It's just a whole bunch of unanswered, unanswered questions, right? Um, and I feel once this ultrasound happens, and I'm, I'm hoping that I'll get the results by the end of this week and I will keep you guys posted. But unfortunately, I do have to go back to the walk-in in order to get those results because I do not have a doctor. So that is an inconvenience as well. So there's, there's a lot of things that are going on with me um, medically in a sense, but you know, I'm just trying to address them and I'm really trying to stay healthy and positive through this time because it, you guys know, you've seen my videos, you know how stressful it is. And it's really easy when you see somebody that is stressed to say, oh, don't worry about it, everything will be fine. Like I, I do that to people. But I feel like unless you're in your those people's shoes, you know, you really don't know what's going on in their mind with, with everything. It's just constantly, I have, I like Jimmy's retiring in December, Jimmy's surgery is in January. I'm going through all these issues and it's, it's just, it's just a lot. I definitely won't go into detail. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of you do care, but there are some people that just don't care. <laughs> and that's just the honest truth. So today I'm going to be taking you along with me to my appointment. It's going to be kind of a day in the life vlog. And I probably will be filming some on my phone because I usually don't like to take my camera with me. It's just too expensive to be taking with me anywhere, especially in the winter time. It is, it is very cold out. It is minus 10 degrees. Minus 10? Yeah, minus 10 degrees Celsius. I shouldn't say it's very cold, um, but it's cold enough that, you know, if my camera is left in my car too long or, you know, if it falls in my pocket or just the whole scenario, I just want to avoid and just keep it at home. So I usually do record from my phone when I am out and about. So 
Let's get this day started. I don't know, I'm gonna read over all of my instructions because I haven't had anything to drink or eat because I really, I can't remember what I need to do. I have a feeling the only thing I need to do is drink water. You have to go to the washroom at a certain time and then you have to drink a certain amount of water um, I think it's 20 or 30 minutes prior to my appointment time. So I will be taking, where is it, where is it? I will be taking my water bottle with me and I will fill this up and put just a little bit of ice in it. This is just from last night that I have because I always have it by my bedside. But I will be taking this because I believe it's 32 ounces that you need to drink. I'm gonna have to double check all of my paperwork. But I will definitely keep you guys posted and let's see how the day goes. All right, it is one o'clock, I have made it into town I've actually done a few errands already um, I had to go to Michael's to get some more vinyl and then I've just popped over to Giant Tiger we have a giant it's called Giant Tiger here in Canada and it has really good deals so I thought that I would pop in there and I actually found a few gifts for the girls so I was pretty excited about finding that because have you guys started on your Christmas shopping yet because I have not I haven't even thought about it and we don't get a lot of gifts um, all of our kids are older so they usually just get money and we have a few gifts that they open on Christmas Day, um, but it's not very much. Because like I said, our youngest is um, 20 years old, right? So cash is always, always good. So that's about all that I've done today. And it is one o'clock. I have gone to the bathroom, like emptied my bladder because I'm going to my ultrasound today, right? So it's at two o'clock. I emptied my bladder. Now I'm working on my 32 ounces of water. And you know what's funny? I can drink 32 ounces of water, no, no problem. Like. I drink about two or three of these a day but when you're pressured to have all 32 ounces in 15 minutes it's a lot of pressure <laughs> so I'm drinking it and of course like I put some ice in it I don't know why I put because I always put ice in my drinks right before I leave my house and I probably shouldn't have done that today because it is really really cold um, I do like cold water but not when I have to drink a liter in 15 minutes you know what I mean but I do have a grocery pickup that is ready right now um, I have been doing grocery pick pickups lately and I really, really love it because it keeps me on budget and I am like, we don't spend a lot of money on groceries to be honest. Like we eat, we eat at home a lot. So our, our um, budget is about a hundred dollars a week and that's just the two of us, like me and Jimmy. Zoe is still dog sitting and she will be until Christmas. So she hasn't been home for three months. So that's what we budget. Um, every week now you got to remember that we don't buy meat because we have venison we have ground venison we have steak we have roast we have all of that and we also did butcher a pig so we do have um, some pork so the only thing that I buy is chicken and I don't buy a whole lot of chicken because I don't know I just I like chicken but I, I probably only like it once a week or so um, you know, other than that, we usually have like burgers or a roast or, you know, some ham. The other night I made some ham and scalloped potatoes. So we utilize a lot of the food that we have at home. And I feel like that's why our grocery bill is so low is because we do not have to buy meat. And, um, I feel like if we, I gotta, I gotta get drinking this drink, you guys, I am here talking to you and I should be drinking this. Um, but I feel that like we still have quite a bit of venison in our freezer um and we haven't gone out we've gone out hunting one day i've explained in that video we got stranded it was a disaster of a day i will link that video up in the cards for you guys to watch um but we are going out again this friday so um and then saturday sunday monday jimmy is actually going out with a friend and they are friend they are going out elk hunting because we do live near cfb suffield and they do an elk reduction hunt every year so i was part of that last year i ended up getting my first elk it was so exciting it took a lot of shots they're a lot bigger than a deer um but it was really good so um they're gonna go out elk hunting this weekend but we already have an elk that we've harvested because since we do live so close to the base jimmy literally knows everybody on that base um if they do have an injured elk and um you know and they give it away or if there's somebody that wants it or somebody close um, we always volunteer because we live literally minutes away and we have a place where we can butcher it and store it and all of those things so we already have a half an elk we split it with um, one of the people that brought it to us off the base so we already have half an elk and half an elk is is a lot a lot of meat especially for two people we do give it to our kids um, but we are doing fairly well for venison still um, but we still are going to go out hunting. We always like to harvest our own meat. And if we can get, you know, a couple more deer, 
that is be, be, be perfect. <laughs> that would be perfect. So I'm I'm gonna drink this. I gotta stop talking and I gotta drink this. I gotta go and get my groceries and pick those up, and then we will be heading off to our appointment for. All right, so I'm here at Superstore. It is now 1:16 and I finished my water. I finished my water. I think there's like a little tiny bit left. There, that's it, I'm done. And to be honest, well, right now, I probably feel like in, well, hopefully within like a half an hour, I'll feel like I'm ready to like bust. I remember getting the ultrasounds when I was pregnant and oh my gosh, that was the worst, getting an ultrasound when you were pregnant. And that was the last time that I had an ultrasound. So hopefully I will have enough water. I'm really, I'm really worried that I just don't have enough water, but hopefully within a half hour, I'll feel like I'm really full and just get it done. So I'm just waiting for my groceries and then we will head over to our appointment. said I must have been really dehydrated and there's only like 50 milliliters so I have to drink two of these now I don't feel like full of water I don't understand because I literally had like a whole liter of water but I definitely will keep you guys posted I really hope that we can get this done today because it's such a long wait I waited six weeks for this appointment All right, I am finally out. It is three o'clock. It it was a mess. It, well, it wasn't a mess, but I drank a liter of water like I showed you. That's what I brought with me to town. And I, I really didn't feel like I had enough water, right? Like usually when you go into these appointments, like when I was pregnant anyways, you feel like you were like busting, right? And I didn't feel that way. So when she... When I went in there and I laid down, I was, we were joking about it, how like here, I'm here for like pre-menopausal issues when the last time I was there was when I was pregnant, right? So, um, but she was like, you don't have very much water in your bladder. You only have like 50 milliliters and I can't see and, and take any pictures. And she's like, are you okay to drink some more water? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I feel like I could drink a lot more water. So she brought in those two cups like I showed you and I drank those and then I had to wait for a half an hour because what she did is she switched um, the appointments like mine was first and this other lady was after me and the other lady was there so she just switched our appointments so I had to wait another half an hour and wait until like all the water was like digested or whatever you call it. And then I felt like I was busting. <laughs> I was like busting and it was painful. And I was like, it was like 10 minutes. Like, because I thought I would go in around 2.30, right? And it was like 2.20. I'm like, this is so painful. And then she called me in and she's like, oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I'm going to get some great pictures. And I'm like, okay, that's good. So anyways, did all that. She got some good pictures. And I'm going to have to phone the walk-in to see if they got my results on Thursday. Because we're hunting on Friday. And if they don't have the results in on Thursday, I'll have to wait until next week, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. Um, I just have to do a couple more errands. I went and picked up my groceries, like I told you, and now I'm just stopping at the dollar store and then I'm making my way back home. So I will talk to you guys in the next clip. So I'm just in the dollar store and they have some really cute stuff in here. Like I'm not gonna buy any because honestly, we really don't need any more stuff because we are kind of like, you know, decluttering. <laughs> but make sure you check out your local dollar store because they have some actually like really, really cute stuff for Christmas. This is really cute. I really like that. This is cute too. I feel like somebody could make that, right? But make sure you check out your local dollar store. Um, this is really cute. This is my style right here for sure. But yeah, just wanted to show you a few of the things. I don't know if it's any different in America from what we have here in Canada, but really, really cute and affordable Christmas decorations. All right, you guys, I am going to finish off the vlog here. I am heading home. I just got fuel at Costco and that is it for my day. It is four o'clock, so perfect timing. Jimmy will actually be home to carry in the groceries. And that is it for today. Hopefully I will remember to do a grocery haul. It's not much keto stuff. But let me know below if you guys want to see that grocery haul. We will see you guys in the next video.